Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So I'm going to be going through a load of £2 coins in this episode, trying to find some rare and valuable ones, but also hopefully something to go in the album. So I haven't done £2 for a little while and our hunts that Lady M and I do together, the, the £2 hunts that are gone for a while, but don't worry, the uh, the Bungle book, the solo book is still available. So, so still the four rarest coins, the, the Commonwealth Games, the Olympics from 2000, uh, from, well, yeah, 2008, but the 1908 Olympics, uh, Rio handover, and the London Underground Train. We've got everything else other than that. So hopefully, this bag that I'm going to go through, and there's £540 worth of £2 in here, hopefully this will be fruitful. And if it isn't, well, at the very least, it would be nice to get something that's worth more than the £2 that is printed on it with a bit of luck. Anyhow, so let's, uh, let's have a bash. Everything will go down on the mat. The, the more rarer finds are the gold finds at the top. Go down to silver, bronze, any plum finds or any unusual ones. Go on the right hand side. So we will kick off with a 1999 Rugby, Rugby World Cup. Edge inscription round the side has got Rugby World Cup 1999 on it. It's a bronze find. Only worth the £2 that's printed on it. Great to start. And hopefully the sign of things to come. Second bag, a second commemorative, the First World War Centenary. This is the army one. Loads of these around, loads of these popping in circulation, especially round our way. For king and country around the outside, a nine and a half million minted. And it feels like all that nine and a half million are coming out together from the cash centers, even though they were made in the Royal Mint. Down in, uh, ooh, this is an interesting bag. Down in, uh, ooh, are they all pictures? Ooh, I think they are. Nice one. So yeah, even though they were made down in uh, Clan Tristan's in Wales, we're well, getting off a, what, at least uh, five years, plus six years by now, some of them. Anyway, a bag of pictures, the ones that uh, cashed all these picture coins in. What could be the most valuable in here? It would be the Shakespeare's, if it's got uh, the wrong edge inscription. So that's the Shakespeare's um, tragedies, the one with the skull on. And around the outside, it should say, what a piece of work is a man, which he does. And if it said for king and country, then that would be an error coin. But it's not. So we'll stick that on the mat. Where is he? Come on, must be to you somewhere. There we go. 4.6 million. We've got Florence Nightingale. Celebrating 150 years or comm commemorating. 150 years of nursing. So she's down here somewhere. There, 6.1 million. So just face value, there's one, two, three more of the Army Centenary, the shoulder to shoulder. We've got Sky Fox coin, came out in 2005. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the Brunel Arches from 2006. So many irons in the fire around the outside. We've got two comedies. That's part of the same set as that Shakespeare uh, Skulls one. All the world to stage, 4.3 million. And we don't find this very often. Silver find this one. It's worth a little bit more than the, the £2 that's printed on it. Might be pushing three if you look lucky. But uh, one of these for my date album as well, my date run. So I'll have a look to see whether that's nicer than the one I've got in the album. In my uh, my thingy album, you know, we made date run album. I know what I mean. Uh, so that should be here somewhere. Uh, come on, will my old acquaintance be forgotten? There it is 3.2 million. Nice. So that boards that could be good news and bad news. It could be good news that it's a cash in. So I got these, uh, these are just these hunts that I do on my own, are just bonus hunts. I get any extra coins from my friend Liz at the post office. So it could mean, I got, so I got them before Christmas. There's a, that's the hat trick now, Shakespeare is all through. Got the, the crown, the skulls and the comedies. And that's going there, the hollow crown, the highest minute of the three. So yes, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. The fact that we had a full bag of, of pictures of commemorative coins. It could mean that someone's cashed in their collection. They've been collecting coins all year. Just before Christmas to pay 
for Christmas presents, so there may well be more bags like that. Or it could be bad news that they've already been hunted through and the, the, the valuable ones, or the really high valuable ones, have already been taken out. There's another army centenary. So yes, they've already been taken out and snapped away in someone's collection. And these are the ones that have been thrown back. So I guess time will tell. So it's a good time to say Happy New Year to everybody. This will upload on the on Sunday. So we will be into 2022. There's the Brunel portrait. Little mini set there. We're going with the art. So yes, I hope everybody had a nice Christmas. And a safe New Year. So we get another comedies there. And let's see what 2022 brings to us coin collectors, coin hunters, searchers of coins. Because this will upload on the... Oh, there's another one. It's absolutely it's a plague of them. Army, the Army Centenary. No, oh, we haven't had this one yet. So I might not a man or a brother on the outside. The Act of the Abolition of the Slave Trade from 2007. That just goes there. Only worth £2, I'm afraid. So yes, it's uh, Sunday the 2nd of January, this will upload. So by now, there's Charles Dickens, something will turn up. Get a nice spread, we only need three more to complete that bottom row. Oh, there's another silver find. Trinity House. Trinity Lighthouse serving the mariner around the outside. Again, a little bit over first value, that one. You might be, you might, you might squeeze three quid out of it if someone needed it or if it was in nice condition. There is Lord Kitchener, where the lamps go out all over Europe. So another First World War centenary coin. So we only need the jigsaw pieces and the St. Paul's to complete the bottom row. It's always nice. So yes, by now you will know what the 2022 coins are. The new one. There's Marconi. Wireless bridge is the Atlantic. Yeah, you know what we're doing well. We might complete two bottom rows here. There's another comedies. So I did have a, a sneak preview, hopefully. There's another location of, of, a, of a Facebook group. Uh, the Coins, the Coin Collectors, Coin Collectors UK. Or the Coin Corn. It used to be called the Coin Corner camera, but it's called now. I said it in a video. Not last video, the video before with Lady M. But yeah, there was a a leaked picture of what from the Royal Mint or allegedly a leaked picture you guys will know by now I think it was genuine but genuine so we'll know but we'll know for definite by now what uh, what coins were on there I like the Alexander Graham Bell one the telephone the one that stood out for me on the page and I'm a big fan there's another Charles Dickens a big fan as well of the with them, Jubilee. A lot of people are saying that coin's boring. Oh yes, we've got another another full bag, I think. Yeah, a lot of people think that coin's boring, but I like it. So comedies. We've got another Kitchener. I always have a little look there because you've got the one it doesn't say two pounds on that side. You've got yourself a beauty. There's a army, army. Ooh, double helix, I only got that one. Army. Another Histories, another Brunel Arches, another Lord Kitchener. Yes, it is looking more and more like somebody's throwback bag, but it is nice to get the variety. There's the DNA Double Helix. If I was going to get one in silver proof, a £2 coin, I would get that one. I quite like that one. There we are, deoxyribonucleic acid. So we must be doing well. We're a little over halfway, and we need one, two, three, only four to complete the bottom two rows. And in fact, We've got the first two of the silver row as well, so that's, that would be quite a lot. I don't think I've ever filled, certainly not in a... You know, sometimes we've done, we've done well, but the fill last a few thousand quid all in one. But there was 540 in this bag. So to completely fill the bottom two rows will be quite exciting. So do let me know in the comments what you think of the 2022 commemorative coins that will just come out and whether you're buying it. 
or not. I will be. I'm just at this point deliberating whether do I get two sets? Do I get one set to keep? There's another. Do I get one set to keep to put in my, in my front of my shelf with all the other sets? And then another set to open up so to break out of the packaging. Is that another kitchenette? Or is it could be a Charles Dickens? It is a Charles Dickens. So do I buy the second set to open it up so I can put it uh, put it in my date run? Because I do have I want to snap all the 50 pences out. History. So in the, yeah, in, the, in, the, in the annual set, I like to put the 50 pences in my date one, so not only the commemorative coins, but also the shield for 2021. There's another skulls. Because I say I like, I like all the 50 pences in my album. In my album, I've got every 50 pence from 1969 onward. To date, with the exception of the aquatics with the line across the face. So, you can see that album as well. I'll be doing a, be three years of the channel, February the 16th, 2022. The channel's three years old. So I will do my whole coin collection. Every coin I got for our three year birthday celebrations. So yeah, so 60 quid's quite, oh, there's, a, there's another Robert Burns. Looks a bit different for one reason. Why does it look a bit different? Hasn't got as much luster. No, it just feels, it just looks a little bit different, that. Oh, it's quite apt. Come on now. You know, about New Year's one. I might do that. I might use that as a thumbnail, actually. Uh, New Year's Eve, most people will be drunk. That's my drunk face. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, stick that back. Yes. So, but they are expensive. I'd imagine they're going to be £60 plus postage. The annual set. So, to buy a, a second one just to rip open to put the 50 p's in my date run i'm d just deciding whether that's too extravagant because there's also a i believe a 20 a 25 years of two pound coin coming out as well and i'd like i like that the coins that seem to be in it there's another army centenary the coins that are in it I do like so I kind of and I like the idea of reissuing coins with different years on the on the obverse, so like they did with the fifty years of the fifty pence. Let's have another Brunel arches. So we'll get oh there we go St Paul's. Oh, I still haven't completed that bottom row. Four or five bags left to go. We need that jigsaw piece United in the One Kingdom. Yeah. So is my obsession to have the fifty p? Is it too? Is it too much? Or do I, do I not worry too much about having the set on the shelf complete and just buy one and, and bust it open, put the 50p's in the date run, put the rest of the coins in flips to keep them, to keep them safe. And there's another army centenary. Come on, let's get the actor union. Two bags left to go. Let's get that bottom row complete. I don't know. So let me know, let me know in the comments what you've done. Have you bought an annual set? Did you get it from the Royal Mint or did you get it from Change Checker? I'm guessing the Coin Club will, will probably do it this year as well. They've started doing the new commemorative 50 Ps. So might the Coin Club be cheaper? But wait a bit longer for it. There's another Charles Dickens. Come on, Actor Union. Come on, come on, come on. No, we're not gonna get it. We're ending with a Charles Dickens and an Army Centenary. Oh well, never mind. Still pleased with that. Lots of variety. Nothing for the album, unfortunately. Let me just double check because sometimes I, uh, I get that wrong. So I definitely didn't get any Commonwealth Games. No Olympics. Didn't get the underground train. No. Nothing for the album. But I will keep the hunt. will continue. Right, I'm all done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.